I'm Amy from eSpares and in this video I'll be helping you enhance the safety of your pressure washer by sharing some useful safety tips. On our channel we have a whole range of safety videos for all the appliances around your home, so we'll link the whole playlist down below and also at the end of this video. But first, the running and maintenance of your pressure washer. Pressure washers are a really handy appliance for cleaning a range of outdoor areas such as driveways, patios, garden furniture and cars. Whether you already own this appliance or you're thinking about getting one, it's really important to know how to operate it safely. The first action to take is to make sure that you have a read through the instruction manual that comes with your pressure washer. Many instruction manuals will have a dedicated safety section and will also advise you on how to set up and use your appliance safely. Even if you have used a pressure washer before, the safety advice can differ from model to model, so it's best just to give the instruction manual a once over for your specific model. High pressure water coming from your pressure washer can cause debris to fly up. So before you start pressure washing, it's important to make sure you're wearing the right clothes for the job. Sturdy boots, long trousers and safety goggles will help keep your feet, legs and eyes protected. It's also a good idea to wear some grippy gloves as they'll give you more control over the machine and stop it slipping out of your hands. Have a check over the area you're about to start pressure washing before you get started. Make sure you remove any toys, sticks, stones or other debris that could hinder the task. And once you've set up your pressure washer according to the manual, you've got your safety gear on, you've checked the area, you're ready to start pressure washing safely, but there are still a few scenarios under which you shouldn't use your pressure washer. If it's raining or if it's particularly windy, save using your pressure washer for a day where the weather's a bit better. If your machine gets rained on or if water gets blown into the wrong part of the machine, you risk either getting a nasty electric shock or even the appliance setting alight. For a bit of added electrical protection when using your outdoor appliances such as your pressure washer, your lawn mower, power tools or any other outdoor appliance, we really recommend using an RCD or a residual current device. This handy little gadget plugs straight into your sockets or extension lead and then you can plug your appliance directly into it. The RCD measures the current flowing through it and recognises if something goes wrong and cuts the power, protecting you from electrocution. If you're spraying anywhere near electrical products or outdoor sockets, make sure that they're properly covered up before you start pressure washing and don't spray directly at them. Also, make sure that you keep the plug and the cord of your pressure washer dry. When choosing detergents to use with your pressure washer, make sure they're suited for use with your machine and properly diluted as indicated on the packaging. Some concentrated detergents can be irritating to your hands if you get them on your skin, so if this happens, be sure to rinse your skin thoroughly. Make sure that you never aim your pressure washer jet at a pet, a person or yourself as the water is highly pressured so this could cause an injury. To avoid accidentally spraying someone or yourself, make sure that you fully turn off your pressure washer when you're not using it. If your pressure washer has a safety latch, make sure that this is engaged when you're not using it. Make sure that you're in a stable position when using your pressure washer. If you're up a ladder or you're balancing on a piece of garden furniture, it's all too easy to lean too far with your pressure washer lance and fall. So make sure you keep your feet firmly on the ground when using this appliance. If you do need to reach high up areas like guttering, we do have extensions available and we'll link a video demonstrating how to use them up here. Now it may seem like a time saver to wash your windows with your pressure washer, but this isn't something the appliance should be used for. The force of the water can actually dislodge the window putty, causing leaks, cracks and can even shatter the glass. Whilst this poses us a safety issue, it can also be an inconvenience trying to replace the window pane. Also, if you're pressure washing your car, avoid the windows and wash these by hand. Don't try and change the lance attachments of your pressure washer while spraying. Make sure that your machine's fully turned off before you try and do so, and if you have an electric pressure washer, make sure that you unplug it so that the cord isn't a trip hazard. As with any appliance, if you smell burning or hear unusual noises, turn off your pressure washer immediately and don't switch it back on until you've identified and fixed the problem. In the rare circumstance that your pressure washer sets alight, don't try and tackle the blaze yourself, just get to safety and phone the fire brigade and let the professionals deal with it. Once you've finished using your pressure washer, make sure you remove any excess pressure in the wand by pulling the trigger once your machine's turned off. Be sure to regularly bleed your pressure washer, as air stuck inside the system can damage your pump, reducing the pressure washer's performance. Make sure that you store it in a cool, dry place, protected from the elements. If you're storing your pressure washer for long periods of time, over winter for example, resort again to your instruction manual on advice on how to do so. Steps to take may include draining and flushing the water, or even adding antifreeze. If water is left inside your appliance and freezes, it will expand, 
and will cause damage to the machine and may even cause leaks. If you have a petrol pressure washer, steps may include draining the fuel or adding a fuel stabiliser. Some parts may also need lubricating such as the pump to stop it rusting. But all the information you need will be in the safety manual. So that's it for this video. We hope these tips will help you use your pressure washer more safely. For even more safety videos for the other appliances around your home, check out our playlist here. You never know when you're going to need us on hand for appliance maintenance or repair advice, so make sure you click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching!